Hey guys, Jess Brooks here with another video for you. It's been a while since I've posted a video. Um, I've recorded a few and haven't been able to get them uploaded due to my, um, I'm, I've gotten new software for my editing and I wasn't liking how it was turning out. So I'm trying to get new software for that. And yeah, I just haven't gotten that f fully figured out yet, but, uh, I did want to do a haul video tonight. Um, been to a few Walmarts and I got two copies of this set here. I think I paid 12 bucks a piece for those. Those were a really good deal. Um, with the light bricks, I think the light bricks alone from these sets part would are like $8 worth of parts from each set. I think they're $4 each new. I could be wrong on that. I haven't double checked, but they're um, a cool set. And then I went today, uh, I was working at a job in a town pretty far from me. And on my way back, there was a Walmart in that town and then a different Walmart in a town I hadn't been to yet. And so I checked those out and I got three copies of this set here, 71720 Firestone Mech. I paid $22 a piece. The part out value for the set is, I believe, around $126. So I was a little un, a little confused with these because this isn't a very old set. And it wasn't marked as being on clearance, but it's marked as rollback. But I don't think a 968-piece set is normally $22. So uh, excited to get those parted out. Um, third one's over on the floor. I didn't want to try and squeeze them up here. I'm kind of limited on space. And I also got this bag here. This bag here, we've got a couple of the Harry Potter poly bags. They weren't the greatest deal. They were only on, they were only marked down to $3. So not a super great deal. I think they part out to just around $9, but the owl is I believe two dollars and forty cents so i figured i'd at least make my money back if i sell the minifigure and the owl and so i got a couple of those uh this poly bag here was only 50 cents so it was the only one they had but it parts out for i think six dollars so that's a, a pretty good part out i got uh three of these captain marvel poly bags those were two dollars and 25 cents each and uh, just some good minifigure parts there. I'll probably park those minifigures out because I think I had those figures in my store if I don't still have one or two of them. And they just they just don't sell or haven't sold. Granted, I did get those sets when they were brand new and so they might have been priced too high. Um, before I get into the last set that I got from there, I'm also going to show this BrickLink order that I got the other day. Um, I got some used parts, almost exclusively used parts here, I think, except for that brick separator. I just got that because I wanted the dark turquoise, and it was pretty cheap. I think it was like 15 cents, so I was like, why not? But what I came to this store for, trying to open the bags, it's double bagged for these parts. What I came to this store for was these minifigure heads here. This was one of the only stores in the U.S. that had two of these heads. And I want these, well I'll show you. And then I got that brain minifigure head there. And this train guy. I've always thought this minifigure was kind of cool. And so I'll put him up here. Whoops, knocking things over next to my vintage mailman and my uh, my old school brick up there. But yep, yeah, got them up there. And then I got these parts. They were technically listed as the wrong color, but they're only one cent each. So I guess I'll just throw them in my collection. But yeah. I'll show you what I want to do with these heads. And that's what I kind of had in mind. Putting them in these suit guys for uh, 
I don't know, just to make it look like an actual mouth instead of a dude in a suit. I thought it was kind of funny. Um, so that, that's what I had in mind for those parts. And then I'll show you the set now. All right, so I got eight copies of set 75266, the Sith Troopers Battle Pack. These were originally, I think, around $15. I paid $4.70 each. So they part out for, I think, $24.50, something like that. Right near $25. So it's a pretty good part out. And I bought all that they had at that Walmart. The second Walmart, the craziest thing with these clearance things this time is the difference in price. Like, I've been to three or four different Walmarts now. Two of the Walmarts, this set wasn't on clearance. Two of them, it was on clearance. The, the one I bought them from, they were, I think, twelve fifty or something like that. The other one, they were like $14. Um, then, at the one Walmart, they also had the uh, classic set... The, one of the 1500 piece sets for I think 34 $34 one of the ones I was at today had the same set for $29 then these poly bags the one Walmart had this for $250 the other one had it for $5 um, the Harry Potter bag the poly bags some Walmarts have had them as low as a dollar. The one Walmart I went to today had them for five dollars. <laughs> um, some of the other sets, like this one at the one Walmart, wasn't even discounted. It was still full price. And then this one it was four dollars, and it's just weird to me. Oh, I actually missed one other thing that I got. I forgot that I didn't mention it in this video because I mentioned it in one of the videos I recorded but haven't gotten out yet but um I got these Super Mario character packs from series one I believe there are seven of them yeah seven I paid a dollar fifty each for these and so it's a pretty good deal t for that um I haven't opened them yet to see what's in there I just haven't had time and this room up here is pretty much destroyed right now. Just a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> oh, and I might as well throw it into this video. I went to a thrift store yesterday, a consignment shop, not really a thrift store, and found this here. I got this Dimensions Fun Pack that's still sealed with um, Cyborg in there. I think I paid seven dollars for it. It's not really a great deal, but sealed. The set's average sold price is twenty-one dollars. With it taped up like this, it's probably I don't know. I don't know what it's worth, but I would doubt I'll get the full twenty-one dollars for it. Um, it is still sealed. Uh, the seals are still intact. It's just they taped the top down to fold it. My guess is probably somebody wrapped it as a present at some point. But, and I got some minifigures in here. This container, I think I paid around $12 for, which was a little bit more than I probably should have. But I wanted the container for um, this thing, because the blue drawer on this is all marked up and scratched. Though, if I put that red container on there, it would actually match. They'd all be the same. I don't know if it came that way or not with two of the closable containers in one drawer. That seems a little odd to me, but it's possible. I don't know. But if I'm going to be honest about this, the biggest reason I actually bought this wasn't even for the Lego. It's for these stupid little Star Wars guys. Because if you've seen some of my videos, I've mentioned them before. I've got a couple up here. Oh, I knocked over Ayla. But I've got a couple of those Star Wars guys up here. 
that have come in bulk lots. Uh, Great Brick Lab gave me a couple of them, but there are a whole mess of them in this container. It's like, okay, great, I want those. <laughs> All right, guys, I think that's gonna wrap up this video. Um, thanks for watching. If yeah, if you have any comments or anything, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you like the video, you're new around here and you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It'll help me out. I'm very close to getting my custom URL at 100 subscribers. I'll get that. And I'm planning on getting business cards made after I get to that 100 subscribers level and have my custom URL. Um, and just a little teaser. There is something big coming. Um, it may have been kind of sort of featured in the video, but... Uh, I should have news on that in the next couple days. So thanks for watching. Until next time, y'all have a good one.